You're still gonna cry. Yeah, that's right. I'm I'm actually crying. I think I'm overtired and like really emotional. <laughs> This is a kitchen. So here's what I like about our kitchen. The exposed brick, and that might be about it. No, 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 that's a lie. I actually, I like the size. I like the size of our kitchen. We came from a very small kitchen, so I think we've got good size, we've got good bones, but we just need to fix what's happening in here. Because at the moment, it's not happening for me. How am I gonna fix it? To be honest with you, I think we need to have a think about, first, our appliances. First and foremost, because our appliances suck. We have an oven that doesn't even, like, close. I mean, that doesn't even seal shut so that's got to go we've got to get new appliances and i think we're going to have to just chat to someone about layout because at the moment it's just not functional we've got stuff everywhere we've got like random ugly bins we've got nowhere to put things there's just like stuff everywhere i just want things concealed i want storage here i just please i just need storage i need like covered doors i need to hide it away because i'm sick of seeing all the stuff and color these red bricks i love actually that raw red brick. I actually think that's really, really good. So I want to keep that, but if I keep that, what I need to do is probably go darker. So I'm thinking black. I'm thinking black cabinet, maybe a black countertop, maybe a bit of a speckle, maybe gray. I'm going to play around with that, but it, we definitely need to go black. Plus, I mean, I love my rice cooker because I love rice, but I don't really want to see it. So what I want to do is create a space where I can actually hide away all of the appliances because these appliances, very handy, also don't want them on my bench top. I don't want to see them, so I want them gone. Can I show you the best bit? I'm actually kind of semi-mortified to show you this. Oh my god, are you ready? <gasps> oh my god! So this is a really streamlined pantry. I'm embarrassed, okay, but this is actually a good space to have. This is essentially a very poor man's butler's pantry. We have filled it to the brim. I can literally not find anything. I've got stuff everywhere. I've got like shopping bags everywhere. There's like bins in here. There's just like our spices are out of control. It's just feral. Like, there's actually no other way to describe this pantry. It's feral. Can you see this? The past residents of this house have like written on it. This must have been like a share house because someone's written their name on the shelves, Kathy, and then brackets doesn't live here anymore. We do. Ugh, creepy. I need all of that gone. It's like nightmarish. So that's just got to be fixed. So what I'm thinking, we turn it into a really nice butler's pantry. These appliances move in here, streamline it, get some storage, clean it up. Up and I just feel like zen and calm. These tiles, yeah, look, they're not my cup of tea like at all. So I need to get rid of these. They just need to go. Plus, this is kind of just not functional. It's in the way. It makes a massive feature out of a microwave. And just quietly, I don't need it, don't want it, it needs to go. All right, so what I'm thinking here, this is just a very solo cupboard that I don't know why it's just one solo cupboard. So what I'm thinking is potentially, we actually go across here and we go all the way across. We've got cabinetry, more storage, and it creates more of a feature here. And it will just feel a bit more, I don't know, just work a bit better. Fridge does not fit anywhere. The reason it's here and it's so awkward is because it literally doesn't fit anywhere else. So what I think we need to do is actually move it and potentially move it over here. We want to get a new fridge as well. And I think the flow will be a lot nicer because at the moment you kind of walk in and you're like, oh, fridge. It just needs to be seamless. I want it to be hidden. Also, when you walk in, I've never, ever had this door shut. So this door needs to go. It doesn't need to be here. And these lights. I love a spot of red in the kitchen. I'm a bit partial to red in the kitchen, but I'm not partial to that. So I want to get them out. I want to change that up, simplify the lighting. I just want to pull that right up and then it'll make this room feel a bit bigger if they're not hanging really low. Basically, a lick of paint, probably lots of paint, new cabinet, new appliances, and a solution for that butler's pantry to make that just kind of next level functional. Woo! Kitchen time! We're gonna sort our 
appliances first. Yes, appliances most important. I want to suss out some storage solutions, yeah? Because I need to think about this. We'll get some more sample pots today because I want to figure out the colour for these walls. And I also want to look at cabinets. Yay! Cabinets! I'm thinking black. Are you going to have to look at cabinets, bench tops, what we're we going to do on the walls, sink? Yeah, okay. You make a valid point. Let's go. Okay. okay, time to go. We need like that, don't we? Yeah. Like an actual bin. Yeah. What do you think it is? Six. Good. I really like this black. And then with our red brick behind, I'm not down with this. I don't want heaps of contrast. Oh look, let's get someone in store, in home. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, I reckon we should. Get our Frank. This is Frank. No, it's good because you need to drill it depending on what side you want it on. Check it, 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 check it. So I've done three different types of white. Upon reflection, what would you say is the best white? Vivid, white, lexicon quarter, white on white. The middle one. I agree with you, correct answer, lexicon quarter. So now I'm just trying to figure out a way because there's lexicon quarter there. And mm -hmm. I think that that is too strong a contrast against the red brick. Obviously we're gonna paint over this delightful, what do I call this? Timber trim feature. Timber trim feature. I've got some really, really light grays because I feel like the gray is gonna pick up a tiny bit of gray in here and just I think soften it a bit. Ooh. Oh, I don't think I've shaken that enough. Hang on. Can you shake it? Here. Yeah. Need a little stirry stick. Do you want to go get one? No, just use your muscles. Faster. Oh. I mean, oh, look at this guy. That's quite nice. What do you think? Did you learn to paint between the lines? What? Very messy square. I feel like I don't have to explain my art to you, Johnny. I mean, looking at it here, it looks incredibly bluey gray, but I feel mm. like on mass though, it's still going to seem quite light and brush, isn't it? I'm going to have to come back and do a double coat of that. Yeah, I reckon. I think that looks nice. Let's think about this for a minute. Black cabinetry, red brick, white trim, potentially maybe like a white tile. That's very high contrast stuff. And if we go all white walls, it might be a bit too like top heavy, a bit too contrast. A bit too modern, and this isn't a modern home. And I feel like you should kind of embrace what you've got. We'll come back. We'll give them a second coat. <laughs> New kitchen day. Huzzah. Tell you what, oh, I could get used to this. Erin, you just do the work and I just like talk about things that I want. You'll make all my dreams come true. Is that cladding this brick? No. So that's gonna stay. We down. love the brick. Yeah. Yeah, true. the brick is staying. It's just whether or not we paint the brick white. Anywhere where we can fit a cabinet, I want Put a one. cabinet. <laughs> because I want storage. Storage is everything. So for here is yeah, just more more cabinetry. More cabinetry. Cabinetry. Yeah. Right there, yeah. Yes. I want to keep this as yeah. I don't want to put anything up here. No. My only concern is like what do we do with this? Do we try and then like chip off of I guess into the brick? Because will that be visible? Which I guess yes. we can do if we want the red brick, can't we? Or not? Mm, it's going to be messy. If we go to the brick, if we go to the bottom of that. We'll just have a strip of white underneath or a strip of whatever colour you want to paint it. We'll fix that. We'll work that we'll out. We'll work that out. So this one makes sense. Yeah. This is like easy -ish. Yeah. Yeah. That side's fine. Okay, cool. I mean, this, I mean, is just like weird, right? I mean, rando cabinet <laughs> jutting out dishwasher and it just feels awkward. I reckon we need to go further here, shorter than that. We've got a double sink yeah. and I want to fit a pin and here. coffee machine on here. <laughs> so I need this to be as wide as possible. Yeah, exactly. Are you happy with that, Jono? Mm -hmm. I'm just making decisions. Let's do this. Erin and I, we're making it happen. We've got a freestanding oven, which I believe, Jono, you were wanting it to be central. Center that microwave cabinet, 
go. Go. Don't, don't need it. Excellent. If we go custom, how much time does that add to the order? Four to six weeks. Okay. So how much time are we talking about if we don't do custom for any of it? Business days. Yes. yes. Like not like doing it. custom. I want a new kitchen <laughs> in five to seven business days. Yeah. Magic yeah. kitchen. So oh. good. Oh. I really want probably some a little Seven bit of depth back. there. Are we gonna try and hack this? We wanna know what's underneath it, right? Cause I, I wanna reveal some um, brick. You want brick in there? Yeah. Oh God. Oh, gonna make Thank it. you, Erin knows where it's. Erin <laughs> says do it. Let's okay. just do like standing oh, cabinetry and, and then pretty much the top, like mm -hmm. all the tires you can probably yep. go. Jono can get his handyman on. Mm. Is there a picture in here with black pudding in it? No. Or is this brand new? Yeah, so black pudding is one of the trend colours, so it's kind oh. of a brand new. Say I'm trendy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think they're too similar to put next to each other. I just feel like it just might take the edge off the black. There's gonna be black everywhere. There's gonna be black appliances. Wanna see the appliances? Jono, you happy? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go me some black pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, hello. Okay. Makes a difference. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> Can we just like send it off yeah. and just make it happen? <laughs> Yay! We're all done. The best very good. kitchen you've ever seen. Isn't yeah, it? definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know, we did it. Oh. Yes. I just wish I could hug you like for the whole thing. <laughs> I'm running stuff, remember? How good is that? It's like Janet in the good place. I'll like, <laughs> be like, Erin. <laughs> just like, yes, I love that. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. No oh my God. How good's that kitchen at the moment? It's like a mobile workshop. Tool, supplies, this room. Place makes me so sad at the moment. It's so dirty. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, so hygienic. Because someone decided to take off all the doors before we sanded the floor. How was I supposed to sand uh, under the door? I can't even talk. Don't make me talk about this room. No. This is a job for another day. That's one thing about DIY. You've got to pace yourself. You've got to like section it. You save money, but but does he head in? Hard work. Yeah. You know one thing, I've got um, I've like got all of our stuff on like Facebook at the moment, marketplace. What else are you selling? I think I've sold the oven as well. We need to eat. I've got a barbecue. Still got I'm a barbecue. Gonna cry. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm actually crying. I'm crying. <laughs> Where is it going? Uh, someone just messaged me and said they'll be here in a couple of hours. Oh. So this little beauty can find a new home. I think I'm overtired and like really emotional. I can't believe you've also sold our oven. Do I still have a microwave? Yeah, you can keep that. But I'm going to rip out the cabinet today, so there's nowhere gonna, to put it. Yeah. I can't live like, we need to check into a hotel. <laughs> New floors for this. So good. Don't Look know. at that. Look at the whitewash. Yep. That's what they're going to be like. Yay. Oh my gosh. So I'll whitewash this, but I can't whitewash it yet because you have got to fix this. Well, we thought it'd be a good idea to put a plantation shutter. It is a good idea. Well, it's a great idea, but then we decided we'd take off the trim. And instead of putting the plantation shutter in here and recessing it in, we were going to go over it. But we ripped off the trim. And we made and massive holes. We found all the holes. So, plantation shutter comes out to about here. So, I just got to clean up this. This is how good the plaster mm. is that's still left on the wall. And I'm scared to pull it off because it'll be way more work. This is what we'd have to clean. So I'm trying to be... save it so we can just patch it. And as long as there's no holes in it, it's not going to fall off. Yeah. So I'm just going to patch that today. Test fit the, the round section for the shutter. Yeah. Make sure that we've filled all the gaps. It's a 130 year old house or something. So. But it's going to look beautiful when we're done with it. It is. It's actually a bit of a disaster. We found. Walls. Uh oh. So I just have oh. to build a little bit of floor there, a bit of patching to do. But then there's a cabinet going in there, so you same won't see thing it anyway. here. You got to patch that. Oh yeah, look, how, look how thick the plaster is. It's about an inch and a half thick. What's that? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? I'm getting sparkling water out of a billy tap, which is the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, it's so refreshing. Would you yeah. like one? Yeah, I'd love one. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
I don't even think it makes a sound like that. So I don't have to go. <laughs> there you go. No, thanks. This is gonna be so good. Painting the walls makes this place look a million times better. Uh, doesn't just. What's your problemo? I've gone too heavy in the pantry because I used the wrong roller. Don't use the wrong roller. Or well, hot tip, use the same roller on all floors. Alright, watch out. How's round two looking? Okay, feeling a bit better about my stuff up. I've also figured out that I probably should start my roll over there. The cabinets are gonna grow. Oh well, we can do it next time we sand and paint the floors. <sighs> but the second coat is so much faster. I need a shower. What's on today? Lots. But first, that situation. I feel like I need to wash it. We're gonna get plantation shutters. So this is our pantry. We had to do some crisis control because the cabinet tree that we got didn't actually fit inside this little hole. So Johnny's actually having to make custom cabinets, which is him drilling out the back now. We've got power coming through in two spots, there and there. We're gonna have like a bench top area, a space here for microwave. The bench top will be good for our toaster and yeah. It's gonna be all good. So the deal over here is that we've got this cool bit of slate, which we're not gonna to touch. It's a little bit kind of weathered, but we kind of like it. But what we don't like are these yellow tiles. So that's just been primed with the renovation range. So we're gonna turn those yellow tiles into dark tiles to match the slate. He's having lots of fun, I can tell. Mm, pantry update time. I'm just checking out your sweet work. Work in progress. Well, we don't have enough space, so it's quite small. So the problem in here is I had a cabinet to put in here, but it doesn't fit through the door. Walls weren't straight either. They were all bowed and holes in them and plaster falling out. So I thought it was just quicker and easier to clad it with ply, build some shelves straight against the wall and build our way up. And it's using the full width. Because if we had even got any cabinet in there, you would have only been able to get it like this big and you had wasted mm. space and everything else. So what are you Ooh, doing? It's Camera. wigging out. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> and I have to paint everything, right? Well, yeah, we don't want timber in there. We're just going to paint it all white. Get back to work then. Quick, yeah. I want to paint. Get back to work. Go and get Ooh, painting. Bye. Quick. <laughs> Bye. This is starting to sort of look like a kitchen again. Yeah, I've already lost my knife. Oh, hang on. Oh. Whoa. Ooh, very nice. What do you reckon? Because yeah. we're going a very monochromatic vibe and I just feel like black's going to be really strong. And it will contrast really nicely with our beautiful white ceiling. Oh, lights! Oh, oh, oh the white's 
nice as well. This might be good to cover any kind of dodgy bits we might have from like past downlights or past pendants. What do you reckon, Jono? Mm -hmm. Go the bigger option in black? Well, the ceiling's really high. So we're only going to put a couple in. And so you can twist him around, you can yeah. direct him anywhere. So you can adjust him and you can turn him around too. That, black, <laughs> done, cool. Kitchen, sorted. Pantry, done. All right. Sausage fizzle? It's not even the start of that. It's a special treat. You want a sausage? Sure, I'll have two. Containers. This is sort of kitchen stuff. I don't think I'm in the right area. We just have stuff everywhere. So if we had like these to be like, this is for rice or something. Plenty of tiles. Tell you what. So something like this, which is like marble finish, skinny horizontal subway tile, or just going simple. Gloss white. Well, that's the sample that we've got at home already, yeah? Yeah, or oh, well, we've got the matte at home. But I actually think gloss might actually be better because we've got a lot of matte everywhere because yeah. of the brick. So I feel like gloss would be cool. Thinking that that's probably a better option than the marble because the marble might be a bit fancy pants, what do you reckon? Well, it's actually pretty plain. It gives a nice bit of texture, doesn't it? You know that we've chosen the most expensive option. This yeah. is a cheaper option. This is more expensive. Oh, we'll price it up and we'll have a... This is what we do. We choose the fancy thing. Yeah. <laughs> Brackets for the thing. Is well that what they, Okay, what's it for? LED channel. Ah, strip, strip light, lighting. And we'll put under here, okay. and it'll be like that, so you'll yeah. barely see it. Yeah, cool. because now is the moment that I have most been waiting for. Our kitchen is finished, it is cleaned, it is fully stocked, and now I'm gonna take you on a little tour. about what we wanted to do in this space. So when it came to working out the space, what we wanted to do first and foremost was figure out what appliances we wanted. Which brings me to this handsome fella to my right. You're so sexy. And yes, we're now in a very serious relationship. <laughs> this is our new freestanding cooker from Electrolux. And can I just say, the dark stainless steel, it sets the tone and it also had a lot to do with a lot of our design choices down the track as well. So this guy, he's like the hero here. Our old oven was like broken, it didn't shut properly, so we we're like, we need a pimping oven to like set the tone for this kitchen. It has got an induction cooktop, which to be honest with you, I have not, well I have used them before, I've never had one before. They're so quick, like crazy quick. So if I'm like boiling an egg or something, the first time I used it, I was like, oh my God, like it literally boiled it so incredibly quick. So I had to like rethink how I used the appliances because I was like, oh my God, this is completely different. I'm gonna give you a little run through. Basically, it's super clean, it's super smart. I mean, it's Swedish design and you know, Swedes, they know what's what when it comes to design. See that, it's actually flashing F because I don't actually have a pot or anything on here. It recognizes that I don't, so it won't actually start heating up the surface, which is smart because 
this. You treat it sort of like a bench top sometimes, so that's just a really good safety feature. I'll show you how fast it cooks. So we chuck him on there. So now he should go from flat, and now he's sweet. He's like, cool, let me boil it. Boil away. While that boils, I'll show you this, the oven. Can I just say, look at the size of this oven. I have had so many dinner parties since I got this oven. It is insane. I'm like, who wants to like come around for dinner at my house? Cause I'm cooking. Like I actually enjoy cooking. Don't I, Jonna? I've become a whiz in the kitchen yeah. since I, <laughs> you've had a lot, I baked a cake. Bake, but I baked a cake. Here you can select your function. So they've just got, you know, general use, fan force. You can go, I'm um, you know, baking a cake, which I did last night. And what it does is when you go through those motions, it also sets the temperature, standard temperatures, which you can change. You can turn that up or down. You can be like, no, I wanted it 210 or something like that. So that's a really good feature. And another good feature is that it will actually pop up and show you what temperature it is inside when it starts. And then once it's at your perfect temperature, it'll let you know. Love it. Oh, and look, told you, it's been like fully fledged boiling away. I mean, it is so incredibly quick. That is quite a sizable bit of water in there and it's done. So anyway, that just really excites me. I should also mention just how lovely it looks against this beautiful marble tile. Do you remember what was happening before? We had that weird thing. It was just like a divot where our microwave was. So when we pulled that out, um, we were gonna see if we could patch it up and paint it. We just had to start from scratch. So we chose these beautiful tiles and I like the gray effect. It works really nicely with these cabinets. Hot tip, I don't know if it's a hot tip. In terms of the grout color, I chose white, but had to go back to Bunnings and switch it because I was like, no, white is gonna be way too much contrast. And Jono, you did a really good job lighting these tiles. It works really well because it is more tonal against the tile itself, as opposed to really stark high contrast. Because I think high contrast grout works really well, but maybe for more modern spaces that are being done and laid by professionals. <laughs> What I haven't spoken about, which is probably one of the most important things in this kitchen, is the cabinetry. We brought out Erin, who came out from Bunnings. She's my new best friend. I did that because, look, I had a pretty good idea about what I wanted, but I did want to just make sure, because we were ordering off-the-shelf cabinetry, I wanted to make sure I got the best use. Basically, what I wanted was to choose the most effective cabinetry for this space. So, what I selected was Caboodle, which is from Bunnings, and I I really wanted matte black. So did you, John. You were down with the matte black, weren't you? So we knew we wanted matte black cabinetry. When it came to the bench top, I didn't want to repeat what was already going on. I wanted something a little bit different. I'm going to ring about gray, whether or not I wanted like a light gray or not. But it's, I went with this guy in the end, which I really love. This guy's name is Black Pudding. Don't really like to eat black puddings, but as it turns out, looks great as a bench top. And the name of the matte black finish is molasses. So together molasses and black pudding might not be a great eating combination. <laughs> Probably wouldn't serve it up on the plate, but together in the kitchen, it's bloody amazing. So black pudding and molasses from Caboodle, I really like it and it works really well with all of our matte black features. Which brings me to this big sink, which Jono, I mean, I fought with you a lot about this. I've got to admit. Well, basically you showed me the dimensions and I measured it up and I just thought it was way too big for this space. But Jono, I'm not gonna say this that many times, but you were right. It <laughs> so this is a Mondela sink. It's matte black. I've got to say, I had single sinks, but once you go double, you can't go back to a single. This has like changed my life now. It's like when you upgrade to a king bed and you can never ever sleep in a queen bed ever again. And speaking of which, I just have to talk about this little fancy guy here, the Billy. Very, very excited about the Billy. This hat, I have been seeing every time I go into these beautiful homes for our home tours, and I just love them so much, like obsessed. And Jono and I drink a lot of sparkling water. Probably too much. It's We're just water that. with air in it. it. We drink a lot of sparkling water. So this bad boy gives you sparkling water on tap. Let me just open my, oh, hello, beautiful cabinet. Grab my glass and I shall show you. You can get sparkling water on tap if you press two down. How's them bubbles? But then if you don't want sparkling water, you can also get just plain filtered water if you go down to your right. 
And then my favorite thing, actually, this is my favorite thing because I love tea. Instant boiling water. That has changed the game for me. What I need to mention as well, while I was talking about the cabinetry, I should also mention some of the cheeky shelving that we created. We ordered this from Caboodle as well. We basically just ordered a piece of Vic Ash from their range. Jono, you crafted this guy up. I absolutely love it. Like I love the pops of timber that we brought into this space. Because we went so black and white, timber really helped to bring a lot of warmth to the interiors and big because we chose to do open shelving, it just brings a bit more personality and color into the space because I've got my cookbooks here, my beautiful plant with lovely evergreen pot there as well. It's just sort of nice details and it means that it kind of just brings a bit more flavor, a bit more sass. Also, we did this as well. So we created this beautiful open shelf. Essentially, before we had a shelf here, we didn't know if we were gonna do that again, but once we actually stripped everything out and we painted it, we realized, you know what? It needs something here because this wall is quite stark. We did want to do an invisible shelf uh, originally and Jono had kind of got plugs for that. That didn't work, so what we've basically done, we had to drill lower. So we've created, we use these brackets, which are actually like the bracket. So this is really nice because this is like a nice little bit of styling which is cool. So I've got a few of my ceramics up here and my beautiful plants. Oh, speaking of which, I should talk and mention this one. Do you remember when we looked at that beautiful lumen glass planter from Ivy Muse? So that used to live in my dining room but I loved it in here because I just loved that kind of open glass look. So that is living here alongside my cookbooks as well. So that was really nice to just bring a little bit of flavor and a bit of personality. Speaking of color, we painted over the red brick may it rest in peace and i'm actually a little bit sad the reason why it just it was going to be really hard to maintain that red brick because once we started pulling things away it was just easier trust me to paint it so we've actually painted it with lexicon quarter which is the same white that i chose for the bathroom as well and also the trim in the living room we did like two coats of primer yes yeah, so we sprayed everything well because we had the whole place gutted so it was just easier to spray it yeah. and because we were painting brick you really got to get a good base coat on so yeah two coats of primer with the spray gun after we did the ceiling oh the ceiling yes can we have a moment to remember our two red pendant lights that we used to have okay that's enough look at the sexiest down light you have ever seen oh my god i love them so much um, these are from Lights, Lights, Lights. Again, the same guys that helped us out with the lighting in the living room and the bathroom. Before, those pendants, they just didn't really need to be here. They were a bit sort of distracting. And I think within this space, pendant lighting was just not on. I just really like how simple these guys are. They pivot around like 360. Like they're pretty cool. But at the moment, we just opted to go straight down. Yeah, I love that contrast against our beautiful pressed tin ceiling. Speaking of light, lighting is very important in every room and these guys are bringing a lot of nice natural light in. Sexy new plantation shutters from DIY Blinds. If anyone watched the Art Deco makeover we did on my Armadale apartment, I chose the plantation shutters from DIY Blinds and I put them in there and they immediately transformed the space and I was like really jealous that I had to sell that place and someone else got to enjoy them. So I was basically like, um, if I'm doing my kitchen, I'm getting those shutters. Ipso facto, here they are. Oh. Yeah, something like that. Obviously, really private, you can open them up or shut them away. We actually just got one big open up shutter, uh, which is nice because then you can open up your window and let you breeze through. But to be honest, I mean, we don't ever have it open, do we? It's just always shut. But it's just good to be able to open those and access your window. And I love this little seat too. It's just nice, it's just cozy. It just yeah, it makes you feel good. Are you ready for probably one of the most exciting reveals? of this kitchen. Does everybody remember the pantry and what we were dealing with? Do you remember Joe? It was a nightmare, okay? It was absolute nightmare. And I'm so excited to show you our new pantry. Are you ready? Oh, hello. Welcome to our new pantry, or should I say butler's pantry. This makes me so incredibly happy. I can't even begin to explain how excited I am about this space. This actually might be my new favorite thing in this kitchen as well. What do we call it now, Jono? It's not the pantry, it's the, the shop. It's the shop. Oh my 
god. So I went full OCD and I like, it was actually really therapeutic. Like I got to do an inventory check on what we had. I stripped everything out. We had so much stuff we didn't need. So I gave a lot of things away or I just put things that were just old in the bin. Um, and I stripped it right back and I have created storage solutions. <laughs> and these storage solutions are amazing. It is a game changer. So I picked these guys up from Bunnings up here um, and these as well from Bunnings Online. I've managed to sort of sort them all with all my different things. This is like my snack treats. And I've got the things that I don't use that often, like the baking and stuff up there. And then I've got more accessible stuff down here. Like I've just, yeah, it's just really exciting. We wanted to bring in an off the shelf, one of the caboodle cabinets, which we realized it would fit in this space. Like we got one that would fit, but it physically wouldn't actually get in and into this space. And there was no way we could even assemble it in here. So Jono had to get uh, a bit handy and uh, we designed this butler's pantry which was kind of cool we've designed it in a way where we've got power points up the back so that's really cool so we've got a rice cooker we've got our toaster and a microwave it's kind of like that workstation we've got plenty of storage now for our food and also we've got a couple of hooks here which is really good because I've got my apron my bags for the supermarket which is important and also I should mention down here these guys so I've got more bags for the supermarket there and then we've got our recycling so everything Things just concealed and I love it. It just makes me happy. I'm very excited. That's the shop and I love it. And speaking of food, can we just take a look at what's going on over here? The sexiest French door fridge you ever seen. Electrolux again with the dark stainless steel. I mean, it's so incredibly sexy next to that matte black. It's really big, but it's also really smart. Check out our fridge. Our fridge is like fully stocked. This might be weird, but it's got like a compartment for 12 eggs. Our fridge before had space for 10 eggs. 10. And I was like, he always used to frustrate me. I'm like, why would you give me 10 when I always buy a dozen? But anyway, little things like that are good. Lots of compartments. I really like this multi zone because I kind of have lots of things that are smaller, veggies and stuff like that and herbs. So that's a nice way to kind of keep them separate to all of your larger kind of stuff. And also, have not mentioned yet, but very, very important, the dishwasher. This is like, gets used a lot, obviously. This guy, I just really like how clean he looks. Like he just looks so clean and nice against all the older molasses cabinetry. Very streamlined, like everything, Electrolux. And you press the button, you just put it on and it starts. You don't hear it, like you don't even know it's there. The only way you know it's actually going is that it has like a little red light that appears. So you're like, cool, here's like going. And one of the best things, when it's finished, it just goes and it just opens up ever so gently. And so like if I put it on overnight, oh, it's coming in the morning, it's like, I'm ready. I love that. I just, it's just so nice. Those little touches are really, really good. So I absolutely love the dishwasher. Also our new coffee machine, which, you know, I've been wanting a new coffee machine for a long time, like quite a few years, but I didn't want to get one until I got a new kitchen. This kitchen, it just makes me so happy. I love that we started it from scratch. Are you proud of what we did, Jono? It's a huge improvement. It is a huge improvement. So yeah, that is the kitchen and I hope you like it. Yay! You guys are still here. Thank you so much for watching. That was a long one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this kitchen renovation. I loved it, but I'd love to know what you think. Please leave me a comment below. And if you want more information about the products and supplies that we use in this kitchen, check out the link below. And make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel because we've got plenty more videos coming your way. Okay, I'm legitimately a little bit embarrassed to be showing you the state of our laundry. Do you know what would be great? If we could like not have like hazardous chemicals on display. Day 50,273. Jono is about to lose it. Are. You were doing it too, just because you're behind the camera and now I can see it. You instigated that.
stupid little bolly, whatever that was. Wait, she can dance. Ah!